Wow, we found this beautiful little creek here, a little tributary to the Tacoa River. Just absolutely gorgeous in here. It goes, it seems like maybe a little mining area back in here. It's pretty well traveled over out here. It's some ATV trails, but it's really pretty because it comes down and there's a railroad trestle there where one of the uh, scenic railroads goes over and then the little tributary or kayaks are down there. But I just thought I'd, uh, it's our last day for vacation. So Carol found this little spot up here. So I thought it might just be worth sharing with y'all. Really pretty. I scared up a little a little baby deer up here earlier. I don't know if it scared me or I scared it. But uh, a lot of silt and stuff coming down through here. Very beautiful. Little trails here. There's you know, like people like riding ATVs up here, but there's a really nice little Well, like maybe a mills up here at one point because there's a rock wall up here. Looks like it was man, you know, stacked up, man-made. See all those rocks there. I'll probably walk into a bear up here. Keep my eyes open, and you can see the stack. So it probably was a mill, some type of mining or. Just water mill for something, power for something, saw mill, who knows. Had these all over the Appalachians and Blue Ridge and Middle Tennessee. You can see some of the big stones they made. But yeah, probably, yeah, you can see the other stacked stones over there. So yeah, definitely probably a, a mill situation here where they dammed up, had a little lake behind it. Just gorgeous little stream though that goes down. Ferns are everywhere. Man, they got the ferns in here. It's gorgeous. Little dead tree there. Really pretty. Well, we're gonna get back on the kayaks and head on down the river. We've probably, I don't know how much longer we've got. This was about a 10 mile kayak today. And uh, I think we're within the last hour, maybe last 30 minutes of the run. But you can see the train trestle. I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. But, it's beautiful temp out here. It's not too hot. I mean, it's in the 80s. In the shade, it's nice and cool. And uh, I just love the sound of that water. Well, a lot of my friends this week, I know, have been praying for a lot of folks this week. So I pray that uh, the Lord meets your needs right where you are. He may just be giving you strength. He may be giving you uh, wisdom. That you're needing for a decision you may be rejoicing over some things that have happened in your life uh, whatever it is uh, we know that our heavenly father uh, is there for us and has a perfect plan for our lives even when the circumstances may seem otherwise but i was reminded of that verse with that little deer up there and we've seen several deer we actually saw one deer in the river was stuck and Carol went over by it and it kind of finally got out. But the verse says, As the deer panted for the water, so my soul longeth after you. And Lord, just give us that heart to desire you. And thank you for areas like this and nature and the beautiful. Paul talks about how creation itself speaks to you as the creator. Um, and it's just so true. So, I don't think you can help but look around and see God's hand in places like this. Well, have a blessed day. And remember, find those people that need an encouraging word from you and give it to them. Pray for them. Seek God's will in all that we do.